quick update as the day progresses. That's the uh, aluminium strips there that are going to uh, support the PVC pipe that brings the water back into the um, pond uh, with all the jets in it for aeration. That's the tech screws, hand drill, and this is how I'm setting it up. I've, uh, traditional building practices apply. String line, get it straight, get it neat, get it sorted the right way first time. Okay, this is a uh, midday update. Oh, there's my wife moving around in the background somewhere. I can see a reflection. She is getting the retic pipes ready. They're the pipes that will take the water back into the pond. Uh, we've got lots of uh, holes in there, so we've got the uh, jet effect for uh, aeration and breaking the surface tension of the uh, pond water. So she's getting those ready. Um, now, as well as that, I've done a lot of work on the plumbing here. Not sure if you remember on an earlier video, um, this white pipe here, that's gone from uh, 25 mil because it just wasn't getting the water out of the waterbed back into the sump tank quick enough. So we've taken it from 25 to 40. Uh, that helped a lot, but we've now taken it to 50 mil. So um, that should work well. Now on the inside there, I've reworked, we've got a big pump, uh, I've already sunk that down in there. The white cord you can see is, uh, goes down to the um, pump for pulling it up. I mean I can use the hose but I'd rather not, or the power cord for that matter. But um, I've got to connect that um, pipe there to that connection there. Uh, that will get the water out of the sump tank back into the pond. Um, I've got to make the connection from there and I've got to put all the pipe work in. Now you can see all these brackets sticking out there all the way through and down the other side. They're going to support all the uh, pipe work that will jet the water back into the pond. So we are on the home run, we're just going to uh, hose all the stuff down um, and flush it out and fit it into place. Then it's a matter of getting the white foam trays, so we're getting really to the exciting part now. See the foam trays in the top left there? They're going to go onto the waterbed. So on the next video clip, that's what you should see, is those with uh, veggies um, all sitting in the little cups, all ready to go. So, and it's, what is it, Sunday afternoon, we've got another five days of uh, running the system, keeping the aeration up, getting the veggies going. We're going to use uh, sea salt to um, supply the nutrients to them because we still have not got the fish. But five days, Friday morning, we have got 50 trout coming. So we're going to start with trout because the water's about uh, 14 degrees. It's damn cold. Um, so next Friday, we're going to have some fish. Yippee.